In this video, we're going to take a look at roots of quadratics. So let's just say we have a quadratic here, a general quadratic of ax squared plus bx plus c. Now if this is equal to zero, and we know that a is not equal to zero as well. So if we know here that we have roots alpha and beta, so with roots alpha and beta, and you might be wondering why we're using Greek letters here for the roots, and that's because we're looking at roots of polynomials within this chapter, and when we look at the roots here, we use Greek letters to represent them. So we have roots alpha and beta. Then what we can do is we can take this quadratic here, that's equal to zero. So let's just write this out again. ax squared plus bx plus c. So this is all equal to zero. Then if we know that we have roots alpha and beta, then what we get here is a lots of x minus alpha and x minus beta. Okay, so x minus beta. So with this part here, now what we're going to do is we're going to kind of work backwards now. So I'm going to expand this here. So if I expand this here, we get a lots. So I'm just expanding using foil. I'm going to get x squared. We get x squared here. I'm going to get minus beta x. Okay, so I'm going to get minus beta x. Minus beta x. I'm going to get minus alpha x. Minus alpha x. And then positive alpha beta. Okay, minus alpha times minus beta. We get positive alpha beta there. Okay. Now, if we expand this out now with this a on the outside here, I'm going to get ax squared. So we get ax squared. I'm going to get minus um, a alpha x. I'm going to do this in alphabetical order as well. So minus a alpha x. But I'm going to get minus a beta x. So minus a beta x. And then we're going to get a alpha beta. Okay, so a alpha beta. And from here now, what I can do is I can factor out this a here, okay, and the x as well. So I'm going to get ax squared. So we get ax squared. Factoring out now the a, I'm going to get minus a, lots of alpha plus beta. So alpha plus beta. And we factor the x out as well, but I'm going to put it on the right hand side here just so it's a little bit neater. Then we're going to get plus a alpha beta. Okay. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this final line here and compare that to the, co um, the coefficients of the quadratic that we started with here, this one here. Okay. And notice then that b here now is the same as minus a times alpha plus beta. Okay. So what we're saying then is b is equal to minus a so minus a times alpha plus beta okay so that's b and then we have a c here okay c that's this final constant term here we can see that that must be a alpha beta so a alpha beta okay but what i want to do here now is write this in terms of the roots only okay so we don't want an a on the right hand side here for b and same here for this c so in that case then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to divide through for b here by minus a, and then for c we'll divide through by the a. So in that case then, for b, we get that b here is going to be equal to alpha plus beta. So what I'll do is do over here, I'm going to get alpha plus beta is going to be equal to b divided by minus a. Okay, we'll put the minus in front. So minus b over a. And then for c, again, all we're going to do is just divide through by the a here. So what we're saying now is alpha times beta alpha times beta is equal to c over a, okay? So just in case you're confused what I've just done here for this final step, all I've done here is took that b is equal to minus a times alpha plus beta divided through by the minus a here. So what we're saying then is minus b over a is equal to alpha plus beta. So the sum of the roots is minus b over a. And then the product of the roots here, alpha beta, I just divided through by this a here, okay? So the product of the roots alpha times beta is c over a, okay? So that's a very quick introduction there to how we can now use these roots. Let's take a look at one quick um, example question here. So what we're told here is that alpha and beta are the roots of this quadratic equation. Okay. Now what this should say here is without solving. So without solving, what that just basically means is we need to use the rules that we just previously established. So without solving, we want to find, so we've got three parts of this part A, alpha plus beta. So that's the sum of the roots. Now remember, 
If you can't remember the actual expression for alpha plus beta, the sum of the roots, then you need to derive the result yourself using ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. You can start with that and then work backwards to get the expression again for alpha plus beta. But if you can remember that this is just simply minus b over a, then it does save a lot of time. So minus b over a, remember a, b, and c here, we just need to match that to our quadratic here. So in that case, a is positive 2, b is minus 7, so b is minus 7, and then c is minus 4 there. Okay, so minus b over a, that's going to be minus minus 7, minus minus 7, all over a, which is 2. So minus minus 7 over 2, I get positive 7 over 2 there. Okay, so we get positive 7 over 2 for our solution to part A. Part B, then we're looking now for the product of the roots here. And remember, we can just write this result down simply as C over A. But again, if you couldn't remember that, you would just need to derive the result again, starting with AX squared plus BX plus C equals 0. So C over A, again, just substitute in appropriately here. So C is minus 4. A is 2. So minus 4 over 2, giving us minus 2 there. So part B, we get minus 2 for the products of the roots. And then for part C here, a little bit different. What we're looking for now is the sum of the reciprocal of the roots. So 1 over alpha plus 1 over beta. So how do we do this here? Well, we need to think about a way that if we take alpha plus beta and alpha beta, how we can now manipulate these to get 1 over alpha plus 1 over beta. And the way we do that in this case would be to take alpha plus beta as a numerator. So if we take alpha plus beta, as the numerator, and we divide that by alpha beta, the product, then we can simplify it by writing this as two individual fractions here. So what I've got now is alpha over alpha beta plus beta over alpha beta. Okay, these are equivalent. And in this case, now what we notice is we can cancel an alpha and an alpha here. So that was going to leave me with one over beta, and then again we can cancel a beta here with this beta here. What that leaves me with then is 1 over beta plus 1 over alpha. And again, the order doesn't matter here. I could have put that as 1 over alpha plus 1 over beta. Simply doesn't matter. Okay. So in that case, then all we need to use now is this expression here. So alpha plus beta, that's the sum of the roots, which we've got here. So we know this is going to be 7 over 2. So 7 over 2. We divide that by the product here, alpha beta. So we divide that by alpha beta, which is minus 2. So we've got 7 over 2 divided by minus 2 here. It's up to you whether you write this out as a um, division of fractions. So what I've actually got here is 7 over 2 divided by minus 2 over 1. Maybe then flip that and change that to your times. Completely up to you. But either way here, what I'm going to get is minus 7 over 4. Okay, so minus 7 over 4 there. And there we have it. So that's our solution to part C. And that gives us the solution to that question overall. And that actually brings us to the end of this video on roots of a quadratic. I know this was quite short, but there's not too much more to it. It is just practicing these very basic skills as an introduction to roots of polynomials. In the next video, we're going to take a look at roots of cubics.